Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today I want to show you something really cool with RetroPie. And this was made by Meliu. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Either way, thank you. I just wanted to give them a shout out. If you like this and you use it, go over to the RetroPie forum and thank them personally because this is pretty cool. So previously I did a video on run command images. When you launch a game, it will show you an image instead of this. Today, I want to show you how to use his version. Now, what this does is it takes pictures from your theme and adds them. So, as you can see, instead of having this on your screen when you launch a game, you can have something that looks like this. Now, each one of these is going to depend on which theme you're using. So, this is from the Clean Look theme. We got Arcade, FBA, Mame Libretro, TurboGrafx-16. Here's the Metapixel theme. Material theme, simple theme. Now this works with any theme, but if you use the carbon theme, it's only gonna give you a carbon fiber background. It still looks pretty cool, and if you want a minimalistic carbon look, you can definitely do that. In this video, I'm gonna be going over the Tronky Fran, I don't even know if that's what it's called. Tronky Fran theme, this is one of my favorite themes, and it does generate some really awesome launching images. So this has been built into RetroPie, into the RetroPie setup script. We're gonna move over to the Pi. I'll show you how to install it and how to use it. Okay, so let's get started here, guys. First thing you're gonna to wanna to do is make sure your Pi is connected online either with Ethernet or Wi-Fi. We're gonna to scroll to the RetroPie logo. Scroll down to ES Themes. This is the Emulation Station Themes menu. We wanna change our theme because if we do this with the carbon theme that I'm running right now, it will only give us that carbon fiber background look. So from within this menu, you can choose whatever theme you want. Now some themes are gonna look better than others when we use this launch image script, but I'm gonna choose the very bottom one, which right now this is my favorite one. It is Tronky Fran. Install it. You need to be connected online for this to work. All right, cancel, it'll bring us back out. Press start on your controller, scroll to UI settings. All the way down at the bottom we have theme set. Scroll over, find the theme you just downloaded or the theme you want. Back. Give it a few seconds and it'll change the theme for us. So this is the Tronky Fran theme. Pretty awesome. Now let's enable the run command launch images. Go to RetroPie, scroll to RetroPie setup. From here, we want to update the RetroPie setup script. Now I'm on the latest version, which is 4.1.15. Actually, there might be a new version now. Just make sure you update this. Now when doing this, this is not updating RetroPie, it's only updating the RetroPie setup script. Now that you're updated, go to Manage Packages, Manage Experimental Packages, and we need to look for Launching Images. I'm gonna try to find it here. Launching Images. Click OK. Install from Binary. Now it's installed. Go back, back, back configuration tools now we want to find launching images generate run command launching images based on the theme you're using from here we need to scroll to theme and choose the theme we want to use I'm using the Tronky Fran at the top click config file and you want to save current configs for whatever theme you're using now there's a bunch of settings in here. We can use PNG or JPEG. System. We can go in here and choose which ones we want to scrape for. And I'm just going to leave mine on all. Loading text. You can change this to whatever you want. You'll need a keyboard connected. But when we go in here, you can change it. Press button text. Same thing. You can change this to whatever you want it to say. Loading text color. We can change the color of the text. I'm gonna leave mine white. 
press button text color, gray, or you can change it. I'm going to change mine to white also. Show timeout. We can show this for five seconds, or we can switch it to one, two, three, all the way up to ten. I'm going to leave it on five. So no ask. When we download the images in just a second, it's going to ask us if we want to keep that image or not. If you enable no ask, it will not ask you. It'll just accept the images. I'm going to click yes. So now it's set to true. No logo. We can set this to not have a logo. It'll just be a picture when we're launching our game. I'm going to set mine to true. Logo belt. Just like the main menu of Emulation Station, there's a belt right in the middle of the screen that shows us the emulator we're about to choose. This will give us that when we're launching a game. I'm going to leave mine on false because I do not have a logo coming up. It's just going to be a picture. Solid BG color. I'm going to leave that false. You can set that so the image is only yellow or whatever color you choose. Let's go back. Generate launching images. So this just gives you a rundown of what's going on here. We're scraping all of our systems for the theme I chose. Loading text, we'll say now loading. Press A button text, we'll say press A button to configure launch options. Loading text color white. Just read through it, make sure you have everything correct. Click yes. It's going to generate our launch images. And as soon as this is done, we'll go back and I'll show you how they look. Within this theme that I'm using, they look freaking awesome. You're just going to have to find a theme that generates good images. So I've tested this and the clean look and both of them are pretty good. Now that it's complete, we're ready to use it. Click OK. Scroll to Cancel. Back. Exit. So we'll back out of here and I'll scroll over to, let's just say, FBA. When I launch one of these games here, it's going to show me the image it scraped. With this theme I'm using, they look really good. It's going to look the same as the background here, but it's a good change. Go to Metal Slug 4. And there you have it. Now loading, press A button to configure. I'll test another system now. We'll go to Super Nintendo. So as you saw in the menu, there are a bunch of options. And you can configure it to your liking. There's tons of ways to make it look. You can change the color of the fonts. You can have the system logo right in the middle if you want with a belt. Just go to Donkey Kong Country. Now loading. I also have Mega Drive. So that's it for now, guys. I just wanted to show you that. I thought it was pretty cool, especially with this theme here. Right now, this is the theme I've been using in my personal image, and I really love it. Just the background makes a big difference. If you guys could, hit that like button and subscribe. I definitely recommend going over to the RetroPie forum and thanking the developer personally if you like this. It's an awesome feature, and it just adds a lot more customization to our own RetroPie builds. Like always... Thanks for watching.